Can you just talk to us a little bit about, you know, the typical Iceland shopper and how difficult they're finding things now? Well, the reality is there is no uh, typical Iceland shopper. Averages don't work very well because we have people who, who come in and spend five quid and people who come in and, and spend 50 quid. Um, but yeah, I'm, generally, I think it's safe to say that everyone is is feeling the pinch now. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, now, we, we do serve um, some of the poorer demographics around the country. And we are hearing stories, as you said, of some um, some of our custom disappearing to, to food banks, which is a reality, or indeed some customers um, when they're at the till asking the cashier when it amounts to 40 quid uh, so that they can leave the rest of their shopping. Um, we're seeing uh, people trading to the best value um, packs and, and products. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's fair to say that everyone's feeling the pinch, but certainly the harder pressed communities are, are feeling it more than anyone. Yeah, it really does paint a picture of uh, just how difficult so many people are finding it. And of course, inflation, a big concern over the board, but grocery price uh, inflation uh, in particular, a real worry. It's a hit at a 13 year high. Um, can you just give us a bit of a sense about what specific foods are, uh, are rising by and how much? Yeah, um, again, it's, you know, there's there's no one particular metric. What's interesting about the, that food inflation figure, um, the, the median kind of food inflation figure of seven, eight percent, um, it includes things like champagne and legs of lamb. Um, now, <laughs> some of our customers certainly aren't buying that. And um, the reality is that, you know, the basic staples are increasing more. We've seen, as you'll know, a loaf of bread, which is now £1.10. It probably was about 89p. Uh, milk uh, across all retailers has, has gone up uh, quite dramatically. It's across the board. And that's because there's a perfect kind of maelstrom of inflationary pressures from commodity um, price increases uh, through to labour shortages. Shortages in in the fields uh, and factories, um, through to the price of fuel to uh, to move goods around, uh, through to genuine supply shortages like um, uh, sunflower oil um, or, or wheat, and both of which come from Ukraine, and and for obvious reasons, you know, uh, both of those uh, things have have dried up. And the unintended consequences of that, it's not just a bottle of sunflower oil or the wheat in your bread. Um, sunflower oil finds its way as a vegetable fat into hundreds of, of different uh, ready meals and pre-prepared meals, uh, and wheat goes into animal feed. Uh, so that is having a knock-on consequence of the price of, of everything from bacon to chicken. It's interesting talking there about Ukraine. Um, the Prime Minister and um, President Zelensky spoke just a couple of days ago about the impact of the blockage of the port of Odessa and the supply of, of grain around the world. Um, just looking forward, how concerned are you about the impact uh, that this could have and how much do you think food could actually go up by in the months ahead? Look, um, you know, it, uh, there's people far cleverer than me who are, who are forecasting this stuff. Um, I, I think it's impossible to say. I think from where we are at the moment, I'm not gravely concerned around supply issues. Uh, I, and I think if you look at our own business, we are especially resilient as a, a frozen first retailer. Um, we, we can build up stocks. We have uh, long uh, supply lines, which um, which we've been working on two years worth of shelf life. So we're, we're very resilient. And as a private family business, we can invest in the right places for our customers. And that's why we're doing a ton of different offers and deals and promotions and value packages just to try and help through our customers. Customers. Um, last week, for example, on, on Tuesday, we ran our first over 60s discount of 10%, uh, which was unbelievably well received um, by our, our, um, some of our customers. Um, we've held the price of all of our one pound lines to the end of the year. That's a major investment by us because the, price, the cost of those goods have, have gone up. So we're making no money on those now, but we think it's the right thing to do. Um, we've reduced the threshold of our home delivery because that service is more important than ever for people who can't afford to drive into town centres and spend the, the money on fuel um, and, and rather to take the free home delivery service. So there's loads of different things that we can do. It's certainly not going to get any easier. I don't know how, how much worse it's going to get, um, but hopefully uh, ourselves and our competitors are, are resilient enough to, to get through it for our customers. Yeah, certainly some concerning times uh, ahead. Uh, the government unveiled its big support package mm. uh, this week to help families. Is there anything specifically that you would like to see the government do going forward to try and help tackle you know, the rising cost of food? Do you know what I must say? You know, I think the government, the chancellor in particular, has um, has really uh, stepped up and 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 uh, you know pulled the right levers. 
Uh, they already had over £20 billion pounds of, of support before this additional £20 billion pounds of, of latest packages. So certainly huge intervention there by the government. And actually, we've got to take a step back and realise that you know, a lot of these pressures are global in nature. And um, a, a lot of these pressures are outside of uh, the influence of, of the government of the day or, or businesses like ours. So I think they've, they've, they've done plenty actually for, for the general public. And hopefully it will ease the pain and the burden as we get into the autumn as, as um, inflation may peak. And um, there's a ton of stuff I'd, I'd like him to do for business. Um, I don't know how he's going to afford it um, or we're all going to pay for it. Um, but I think at the moment they're, they're doing a good job.